welcome back to the show, episode 81 of the NYA Show. Let's hop right into it. I hope that everyone enjoyed your week, your weekend, your holiday. Did you have veterans in your family? Happy Memorial Day. So everybody that just passed is Monday. So here we are. I want to go ahead and just quickly say white and black. A historian traces African American influences in the United States. I would suggest that we all pick up this book and do a little deeper reading. Here, the book is by Mr. David Hackett Fisher, How Enslaved People Expanded American Ideals. The book's name is American Founders. Let's try this again American Founders, How Enslaved People Expanded American Ideals by David Hackett Fisher. And basically, I just wanted to talk about a couple of clips of this article and what it was saying. I also wanted to put this picture up here for everyone to see a black cabaret in 1937, basically a club, a lounge spot, no hookah, but it was still black folks getting together, hanging out. And as you can see, everyone was in there because, and I think that this picture is so important now that I look at it, because after reading um, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm X's autobiography, you realize that everybody came where the happenings were with us. That's where the fun was. That's where they would sneak off to and say that we're going to the Ritz, we're going to the Ritz ball and they'll be down at the, the uh, at um, Carnegie Hall or something. You get what I'm saying? Like we had the hot spots that this picture is the pinnacle of that. If you don't know anything else that I'm talking about, realize that this article is saying how African people have really grown the soil. If, if you're looking at America at as a big, nice sized flower, where the soil and the seed that led it to be that beautiful flower. If you know, in opinion, you know, with everybody else and their contribution in, well, where everybody started, but I'm speaking about us because the name of this story is about a book called African Founders. And what I wanted to speak on was the last two paragraphs here in this story. And I guess I would take from this to be the most important portions here, what I'm trying to get across to on the episode 80. One here with you guys. After founders is fundamentally an appreciation of the place of black people in the American past and present, as well as an appreciation of the nature of which they became a part, which they are. Creativity, he uses the word creativity or uh, or creative or creativity over a hundred times in the book, combined African characteristics with customs of people in society among they found uh, among which they found themselves to make signal contributions to syncretic American culture. For each reason, he outlines this process, summarizing in his conclusion four distinctive African gifts to American life, language and speech, music, spirit, and soul, and the ethics and freedom. The word gift, which also makes frequent appearances in the text, may offer a hint about the difficulties inherited in this approach of basically coming across as what we contribute as a gift. Gift indicates something that's freely given, not something seizable from one who is in in bondage. And at the same time, it suggests that it is less than essential or formative, a com contribution or an add-on rather than a foundation. We are foundational Black Americans, as many of y'all may know. Yet, Fisher, the author of the book, has titled his book, African Founders, a term that resonates within our national history and mythology with its implications of defining and enduring influence. He argues that it suggests for their own freedom, Black people expanded and transformed American understanding, which we did, or what freedom meant, which we did. The presence of enslaved Africans and their descendants, he suggests, has made us freer than what we would otherwise be. Does that describe us today? Question mark is coming from the author of the article. Is that not the exact opposite case? How do we explain why the United States has incarcerated the highest percentage of its population of any country? country in the world with black men in prison at more than five times the rate of white. Persistent racism and the inequality and injustice it yields continue to make us less free in spite of the centuries of struggle Fisker venerates. As he acknowledged, good history does indeed require us to go beyond both celebration and condemnation. Perhaps the debate in his new book is likely to generate can help move forward that goal. And once again, this story was brought to us by Drew Gilpin Foss about American founders, the new book that looks to be out how enslaved people expanded American ideals. It looks to be labeled for 40, 40 bucks is, is what I'm seeing here. The book is being labeled for 40 bucks. I think that it's a, a meaningful book that we can pick up, do a little group reading, figure out what all is being said. You know, they can get a little tricky with the book titles. 
trying to bait you in and then the book is not what it's about. But if you're going to take a real in-depth look, if you want to even take a look, in-depth look into our history already, pick up The People's History of the United States. That book there is on YouTube in audio, in audio form. Read like chapter 6, 7, and 8. That's all the good sauce, all the stuff that you'll probably be sitting there like, I would have never known. I would have never known. So that's my thoughts on that. You let me know what your thoughts are on this on this story, on the foundation, on the contributions that will be outlined in the book, and your thoughts. So once again, it's the NYA Show, episode 81. Appreciate y'all, and I will see y'all next week as always.